Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to the show. We will uh, we have a special show today. We are discussing Pak U.S. relations, and uh, it is my pleasure to introduce U.S. Consul General in Lahore, Miss Conroy. She has served in main, many capacities all over the world, especially Japan, New Zealand, Afghanistan. Did her uh, masters in. Uh, in law and other subjects also and you know she has varied and very interesting background and she has served i think all humanitarian causes all over the world and we are very pleased to have her here for last uh, 13 14 months she is in lahore and her presence is felt everywhere because she is leading a lot of effort to help flood affected people in in punjab especially from miyanwali to rahim yar khan and this brought us here she is slim smart beautiful and uh, very lovable personality miss conrad thank you for your time thank you so much shauri sahab it's nice to see you what is the present level of pak us relationship the present level of pak us relationships is good and rising in my opinion over the last 2 years the obama administration has really put in a lot of effort into engaging with the muslim world including with pakistan and the sorts of things that we've seen right here in lahore for example are our upgrade from a consulate to a consulate general at the same time that our consulate in peshawar was upgraded from a consulate to a consulate general secretary clinton's visit to pakistan which included again a visit to lahore yes was actually her third visit to lahore she'd been here before as a senator and before that as a first lady as a first lady she mm-hmm. paid a visit during benazir bhutto's government that's right, right. that's right we and attended the dinner uh, a very fabulous show that day. Oh, wonderful. Um, she was here and she was very pleasant uh, personality. Well, and it was interesting working with her on that visit because usually with somebody who's at a cabinet level visit, they really have no idea the details about the the place that they're going to go to, but in her case she remembered Lahore very well and very fondly. And so she herself had input into what parts of Lahore she wanted to see. No, and that visit I think in which she had intensive and extensive changes with all kind of people in Pakistan Lahore Islamabad elsewhere yes so you know it it helped clear so many misunderstanding anyway so do you think this is uh, the present on account of the war against terror or so called anti terror campaign by the US and allies has brought Pakistan closer to US or uh, this will be a sort of permanent arrangement well the the, the our, our common interests in combating terrorism and ensuring that Pakistan and and its people enjoy a stable democracy is certainly one of the reasons that we have a relationship and want to have an even better relationship with Pakistan but that's not the only reason and Hillary Clinton said very clearly that she wants to have a strong broad deep relationship with Pakistan and during the strategic dialogue that she and foreign minister Qureshi participated in and and led they both agreed that this is something that they were working forward together it is advancing and on permanent basis i hope so god willing inshallah okay you are learning urdu and punjabi <laughs> ji ha me thori thori urdu bol sakti hu but two years is a very small so short period it's a very <laughs> short period of time oh, it's I true that you stay here longer I mean, well i i've been here a little over a year i have almost a year left in lahore and um i'm having a wonderful time i think i'm going to be very sorry to to oh, leave so will be lahore <laughs> thank you so much and how many parts of punjab have you visited so far Well, I've I've been able to get out a bit. Um people have been extremely welcoming. I found not only in Lahore, but in Faisalabad, Gujranwala, Multan, Bahawalpur, Bahawalnagar, Muzaffargar, people have been extremely welcoming. And you know, what's really very touching about that is is my first visit to Multan was before the floods hit right. in the summer. And of course, um the floods were terrible. Sometime May June. Um well I I first visited Multan in back in March 
oh, of, of this year. But then then I, I went, lovely weather to visit. It was lovely. Uh, it was it was lovely. Um, I went back again after the floods to to be able to report to Washington the extent of the damage, and I think really that that was part okay, of. Okay, we come why, back to the flood and mm, uh, its okay. effects. Uh, well, coming back to mm. U.S. Uh, Pakistan relations, uh, sure. recent, recently, President Obama paid a, a big visit to New Delhi and mm -hmm. uh, Bombay and other parts and stayed there for quite a number of days. Mm -hmm. But uh, some uh, misunderstanding has uh, risen in Pakistan that, uh, well, earlier all the U.S. Dignitaries, most of the time, presidents, vice presidents, secretary of state, defense secretary, any anybody to anybody visiting Pakistan from United States, normally, if they spend three days in India, maybe one day in Pakistan, one day in Pakistan, two days. Don't mind India size, strength, you know. Hmm. This time, we feel that uh, some kind of uh, step motherly treatment has been meted out to Pakistan. President hmm. of the United States stayed in India for so many days and did not pay a visit to Pakistan, which is hmm. only one hour's flight from New Delhi and even less. You know, it's so odd. I've read this opinion and I disagree quite strongly with it. Um, I think with all due respect to the Pakistani media, it's because the the focus here tends to be almost exclusively on what the United States does in Pakistan and its immediate neighborhood. In fact, the visit to India was part of a swing through East Asia. And we consider at the State Department that East Asia includes India, and South and Central Asia includes Pakistan. And so for us, it's very natural for the president to visit Japan, Indonesia, Korea, and India on one trip and to not include Pakistan in that visit because we don't automatically link Pakistan and India together. Interestingly enough, however, while the president was in India, he did talk about Pakistan. And he talked about and he how- He talked talk very positive things. Exactly, and we about are how much the Pakistanis have suffered from terrorism, that, uh, that this is a, a real problem here, and, and that and he stressed to India that, that a democratic and stable Pakistan really is in India's interest as, as well. So, you know... Well, to that, that extent, uh, I entirely agree with you that he, he uh, I mean, uh, no matter what the Indian wanted to hear from him, he was very, very clear mm -hmm. that uh, Pakistan is an ally and is fighting terror like any other country mm -hmm. and suffering. And, and before President Obama visited India, he announced that he would be coming to visit Pakistan, or returning to Pakistan, actually. Um, president Obama has the distinction so far of being the only American president who's visited Pakistan before becoming president. When and he was an ordinary American. Yes, exactly. Citizen, yes. And so and he has, uh, I think, expressed in his book or biography, I'm told, uh, very fond memories of Pakistan. Exactly. Uh, and exactly. He, 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 you see, he's a, by and large, what I understand, he's a self-made man. He's, yes. Uh, he suffered and he struggled and he mm -hmm. struggled. And finally, if you recall the day the um, results of U.S. elections were announced, and the, the, the uh, first lady of the United States sitting next to the president-elect. And once the breaking news came, came that Mr. Obama is elected president of the United States, he said, this could only happen in the United States. Mm -hmm. What a great country we live in. I mean, obviously, in a democratic state, it could... Uh, any, this this uh, endears American democracy to all over, uh, all the people all over the world. You Thank know, you. Big thing. Thank you. Big thing. We were very excited. Yeah. I, you know, I, was I, in, I was in Kabul watching the results, uh, yeah. and, uh, and, and it, was a, it was a very exciting time. But that's us. that. That's where these elections are behind us now. Yes. So actually, here in Pakistan, there is a lot of, lot of misperception about the United States. Mm. That number one, this is not our war against terror. Our people are being mercilessly killed every day. Even today you saw what happened in Kuwait. And yesterday, 50 people killed and the, all the mosques, all the, you know, shrines. 
any any important place wherever they get a time uh, you know chance to hit and uh, harm the terrorists are out to destroy this country it's awful. so there is an impression here that pakistan has been wrongly involved in this war and uh, the so called uh, war against terror is now destroying pakistan it is american war and our rulers are par, um, pawns and puppets in this game yes. this is this i mean not necessarily my own point of view but this is the perception in in it pains it pains me to hear that perception especially when i see that pakistani law enforcement officers pakistani military officers and and soldiers pakistani people going to the market to shop for their families dinners are are being killed or butchered by, by people showing up with with bombs strapped to themselves and strapped to their bicycles um, the people who are doing these things are not engaged in a war against american people they're not engaged in a war against christians they're killing pakistani muslims this is uh, it it's it's reprehensible and no, no, that, as far as killings or this uh, perpetration of uh, atrocities by the terrorists and uh, these merciless careless people against our innocent people mm -hmm. or even any other innocent uh, individual any in any part of the world mm -hmm. maybe america maybe europe may that's we condemn with full force mm -hmm. as a society as a country as a nation as a people right but this perception somehow or the other doesn't go away mm -hmm. there is a lively american war and we have been sucked into it this into this situation this what are you doing to remove these misgivings or misunderstandings on this well uh, we in the us mission in pakistan are doing what we can to demonstrate our support um, on behalf of the american people on behalf of the us government um, the the fact that we came in as early and as big as we did on flood relief i think is one example where it, it didn't have your to excellency do. Hmm. we would like to inform our viewers this extent of support the united states government has provided to the flood affected people and the economic assistance that uh, us is giving to pakistan through different means and measures so we are going to hear this, uh, this from you in a while after short break <laughs>